up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing kind of a different video. I've never done one like this before. But I am going to be doing a review of my BoxyCharm box that I just got in the mail this week. It's a lot of awesome different makeup products in here and I am not like really a subscription box kind of person but since they send full size products I thought why not try it out, right? So I used to get Birchbox and Ipsy. They only send sample size products and, you know, I'm tired of getting little, little guy, little tiny guys. So I thought I'd give the full size product boxes a go and I was very surprised with this, with this box. I'm going to do a full eye look with the products in this box, kind of talk about the other products as well. And uh, if you, if you hear crinkling in the background, that is my cat, so just ignore her. Anyways, let's uh, dive into this BoxyCharm unboxing. So first, we have the Alimar Cosmetics, and I'm so sorry if I mispronounced these, um, Reina de Caribe Eyeshadow Palette Volume 1, and it looks like this. It's beautiful. So I'm really excited to use these beautiful summery colors and those blues especially. I'm like itching to get my hands on. So pretty excited about that. Um, they also sent three full-size brushes, which is awesome. Um, these are Luxie brushes. I actually have a couple of them in my regular brushes. Um, so I was really excited to get some more face brushes by them. I think they have really nice quality products. The brushes are really soft. I am only going to be using one of them today though because I don't use brushes for my foundation, um, but I can use this foundation brush to set my under eyes, but I've already done that. So I'm not going to be using these two brushes, but they did send their tapered highlighter brush, and since I haven't done highlight yet, kind of looks like I have though because of the sweat, but it's not highlight yet. And they also sent a Jante Blue eyeliner pencil, and it's in the color Charcoal. I don't think this is going to go with the eye look that I'm going to do today, but it does look like a, like a nice line, um, but the color's really nice. I don't really use a lot of pencil eyeliners, so I don't know how much use I'll, I will get out of this, but um, it is a full-size pencil, which is great, and I am sure I know people who would take it off my hands if I decide it's not something I'll use forever. So, okay, next is the Sol de Janeiro, oh my gosh, everything that I cannot pronounce, um, and this is their Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, which I was pretty excited to get. I actually have a full size of this that I love, but I am super stoked to get a little travel size one because it's awesome just to stick in your purse for on the go, um, but it smells pretty, pretty incredible. Mmm. It reminds me a lot of the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer smell, which is probably why I love it so much, but it smells really good. You get this little little pot, which actually has a surprising amount of product in it, so it'd be great to stick in your purse for on the go. And then we have the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Verona, and this is really pretty warm, mauve brown color and it'll probably pull pretty warm and brown on my lips so I'll definitely be excited to be doing this warmer eye tone look so hopefully hopefully this lipstick won't look too out of place with the look because I'm gonna throw it on anyways and then last but not least is some a pair of Baddington lashes they look like this they look so pretty I really like them I'm excited to try them on they look like they won't be Super overwhelming, just really natural and pretty, which I'm totally down with. So, okay, so those are all the products. Let's kind of get into the tutorial portion of this where I will be applying some of these and letting you know how they perform. And uh, let's dive into it. We're going to start on the eyes, and I have put some eyeshadow base down, but I haven't set it because, like, that's apparently what all the beauty gurus are doing now. They're not setting their eyeshadow base because supposedly it makes your eyeshadow more vibrant. I have I have some some doubts about the shadows blending over top of a sticky base, but uh, I, who am I? Who am I to judge? I will I will give it a shot. Why not, right? Okay. So my only qualm about this palette so far is there is no mirror, which means I have to find another mirror. It's it's kind of inconvenient to like travel with stuff like that, so it's a little annoying to me, but we will persevere. Okay, 
So to get started, I am going to be using, let's see here, my Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush. And I'm going to go in with the color Coco Taxi. And that's just that light orange shade as my transition color. It is kind of hard to blend, but the color is definitely more vibrant than I thought, so maybe there is something to this after. Okay, so once you have that orange base, next we're going to want to go ahead and go in with the uh, tropical color and it's this orange uh, burnt orange shade so just a little bit of a smaller blending brush and I'm just gonna use my um, NYX makeup 13 number 13 brush I'm keeping this one very close to my crease because I really want it to have this uh, sunset -y kind of vibe here same fluffy brush. I'm just going to go back into that Kobo Taxi color. Okay, so now that I have my little sunset base there, we are going to go ahead and just do start doing the cut crease. So I am going to snag just a little flat uh, eyeshadow, eyeshadow eyeliner brush and my um, Tarte Shape Tape to start cutting this crease and I'm actually going to cut it all the way across my eye because I'm going to be putting the blue there so hopefully this uh, doesn't turn into a train wreck but I like to live my life on there. So there's one cut there, and now I'm just gonna hop off and cut the other one so I can just take my time doing it, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I cut the other eye here, and now I'm just gonna go in with a really tiny little flat detail brush with um, this Celia shade. Actually, no, I'm gonna go in with the Veradero shade right here. It's the darker blue, and just work from the outside corners in. Now I'm just gonna flip this brush around, um, kind of wipe off some of that excess blue, and then I'm gonna go in just on the middle there, bring going just closer and closer to the middle of my eye with the Celia color. Should so pretty. I'm so obsessed. Okay, so now I'm going to go in directly to the center of this eye with the color El Malacón, which is this really beautiful shimmery gold. The metallics in this palette are unreal. Oh, 
wow, 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 wow. Okay, I'm just gonna try and brush away some of this fallout. Here we go. Oh, guys, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna take that little NYX brush we used before with some of that Coco Taxi light orange shade. need like a blue waterline. Just kind of like pull some of that blue down. Okay so I have this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil and it's in the shade Deep End and it's almost like perfectly matching these aqua shades up here. Oh yeah! I can totally see the the Cuban inspiration behind this palette. That's what the inspiration was for it. And you just, I feel like I need to be on a beach. So such a great job. Okay, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling very tropical. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into the lashes here. Actually, I'm going to do my highlighter. So I'm going to use this Lexi 522 Tapered Highlighter. And I'm actually just going to use an eyeshadow from the LMR palette in the La Costa shade. Um, I used this as my highlighter yesterday and so, so pretty. Mm. You could definitely a beautiful eyeshadow, but I mean, I would say you can totally use it as a highlighter too. And I'm just going to pop that shade, the La Costa shade, right in my inner corner and up here in my brow bone. Okay, so now I'm just gonna hop off, throw on some a winged liner, and then these. Ah! I just broke this eyeshadow completely out of the pen, all over my carpet. So I know I hopped off and said I was going to do a black eyeliner, but I changed my mind because I started playing with my blue eyeliner, and I'm actually just going to extend this blue with my Deep End um, Urban Decay liner into a wing, so that's actually what I'm going to do. And in case you guys were concerned about my palette, I literally just picked up all the pieces off the floor and just smooshed them back in, so I still have some of the color left. That was really sad. Okay, anyways, I just wanted to let you know what I was doing instead. I'm digging it. So now I'm going to hop off and put on these lashes just to refresh your memory. They are the Baddington lashes and they look like this. They're super pretty and I think they're not going to really add like too much length. I think this is going to mostly just be like a volume kind of lash. So we'll see when I come back. Okay, so this is the look with lashes and I think these lashes are really subtle just like I thought. But they add some really nice volume and they're very comfortable to wear. Plus, I love that they came in that little box so that I can store them easily, so I'm feeling, I'm, I feel pretty good about it. For glue, I did use the Esquito Lashes Companion Eyelash Glue. This is my favorite eyelash glue right now, so it's latex-free, and um, I just think it works really well and holds my lashes all day. So I don't think I've talked about that before, so I just want to slide that in there. So all that's left now, friends, is to do our lips. So I'm going to be throwing on this Ofra long-lasting liquid lipstick in the shade Verona. I've never actually used Ofra lipsticks. I know Kathleen White swears by them. It's very brown on me. It's definitely not a color that I really love, but it doesn't look terrible. 
I don't know guys, what do you think? That pretty much completes today's tutorial. Um, I hope that you liked this review of the BoxyCharm um, collection for June 2018. Um, I'm excited to get more of these products and to kind of test out each box as they come. Hopefully give you guys an idea of whether or not um, this box is worth it. I think it's $25 a month. It's $21 a month. Okay, so the box is $21 per month. Um, you get all these full-size products, a full-size lipstick, a full-size eyeshadow palette, um, and you get one set of, of nice lashes, you three full-size makeup brushes. I mean, the I think the quality of all of these or the price amount of all of these is, is quite expensive, you know? So, for just for reference, um, the lashes retail for $28, and um, the Alomar palette retails for $28. So, let's see. I'm going to add this up for you. So, 28 times 2. And then our three-piece brush set, the little brushes that came in here, the Lexi brushes, um, retail for $42. Um, that little bum bum cream, the Brazilian bum bum cream, um, that retails, I keep hitting my lights. That retails for $10, so, and then the pencil here, the Jante Blue Pencil Waterproof Eyeliner is $5, and then our Ofra Lipstick is $21, so altogether this is $144 value for $21, so that is that's pretty good, I would say. And the theme for this month was Caribbean Queen, which I think, obviously, this all looks very tropical, very Caribbean. I think they felt exactly, exactly in the theme. So I really liked it. I was highly impressed with my first box. I'm excited to get more. I hope that this gives you a good idea on whether you guys want to spend your hard-earned money on a subscription box like this. Please let me know if you like this kind of video in the comments below. Hit subscribe while you're here. And then also turn that little uh, notification on so that you actually find out when I upload videos, which will be every Monday, will be, it always is, um, which is every Monday and Thursday. Um, so definitely come back and see what else I've got going on this week. Have an awesome rest of your week, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys!